Say something. Hi. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got Junior out here tonight, and today we're putting the doors back on Dale, so stay tuned. So from the other day, I had to stack the doors back in behind the old Dodge here, and we are going to put the doors on simply because I want to be able to close them, put a heater inside, and get that warmed up so that that carpet is a little more flexible so we can get it cut to fit. Then we've got to figure out what we're going to do with this bench seat. It is pretty grimy. There's some holes in it, and uh, I'm sure that that bench seat's not going to be that comfortable driving clear to Georgia this summer. So we may end up finding a seat maybe out of an OBS truck that uh, has a little bit of lumbar support, a little more comfortable than that old thing. So we're going to set you guys up, and we're going to get this door installed. Okay, so we've got the passenger side door on, and yes, there's quite a gap here. We'll have to do some adjustments on the hinges and stuff like that, but for this purpose, we're just trying to get the doors on so that we can get the heater in there, soften up that floor. So let's go over to the driver's side and get that one done. All right. And there it is, got the driver's side door back on. Once again, we're gonna have to do some adjustment to get the gaps right. Seems a little tight there. Maybe a little bit of a gap on this side. But now what we can do is we'll be able to roll the windows up, stick a little heater in here a couple hours before we come out, crank that sucker up to 80, and let this uh, vinyl floor soften up some. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. So uh, let me go get changed before uh, I get too dirty in my work clothes, and we'll be right back. So it is the next day and today is a storm day. So we ended up coming home early from work and I've been just out here in the shop puttering away on Dale trying to get a few little things buttoned up. Little things like getting the filler neck attached to the box, getting all eight bolts down through the frame so that the box can be attached. And we also ran the wires for the tail lights. We actually did it twice. And the reason why we did it twice was because when the wiring harness was just hanging there, I just ran the wires, uh, not realizing that the left was the right and the right was the left. So I had to pull it all apart. And I did realize that before I got the lenses on. Anyways, uh, we did put that back together and that's done. We also tightened up the spring hanger and shackle bolts on the front and rear uh, in hopes that that would maintain a certain height while it did not. Uh, so we're still scratching our heads on that one and I also put the heater inside the cab of Dale because we did get the doors on and you can see it in there and so far it seems to be doing the trick uh, this stuff is softening up pretty good so right now my belly is telling me it's supper time so I'm gonna go and grab a bite and then we'll come back out here after supper and maybe we'll see if we can tackle that mat and uh, get it trimmed up and maybe even get the seat put in at some point. So I'll be back here in just a few minutes. All right, so it's after supper. I've got my belly full. It's time to get in here and see how well this heater setup has been working. So we are gonna do, shut this off. See, to me, it's almost as if This isn't meant for this truck for some reason. Like that wrinkle right there, same thing on the other side, just does not want to come out. This is plenty soft. And that heater has been cranked up to 86 degrees, which is the maximum ever since I put it in here at about three o'clock this afternoon. And to begin with, I wasn't 100% sold on going with vinyl to begin with. I wanted to replace it with a nice tan or a buckskin colored uh, carpet. So I guess what I've got to do is I've got to make a decision on whether or not I want to keep this and fiddle and fuss with it over something I don't really want, even though it was free. I can probably sell it and get a few bucks out of it. But 
I'm just not happy with the way that this is being installed. I'm not sure that those wrinkles will ever come out if they're not going to come out under, you know, 86 degree temps with the windows rolled up and the doors closed. So let me think about this for a few minutes and uh, we'll get back to you. So I've had a little chance to think about this with this whole flooring issue that we're having with this truck and I think ultimately what I want to do is I want to hold off and order the carpet even though it's going to cost 200 bucks it will be outside the uh, initial budget for the vi for the vehicle and I'm not in a huge hurry for it uh, because at some point I also would like to find a replacement for the bench seat something that's going to be a little more comfortable on a long drive so I'm not 100% sold, but I'm thinking I want to hold off for the carpet, hold off in funding a replacement for the bench seat. Uh, in the meantime, we'll put the bench seat back in and bolt it down because everything is ready for that. And initially get what I wanted uh, right from the very start. So uh, I think that's going to be the plan. And uh, having said all of that, I guess that's going to wrap up this video. The Car Guy and Six Fan Show this week is going to be hosted by myself on my channel as well as a guest host who is Corey Pratt from Craving Cars. Now Corey's been on the show a couple of times before and this time it's going to be as a host. It's going to be something special. We're having fun. Grant won't be around this time so um, we're going to have a little bit of fun. And I hope you guys join us at 7 o'clock Central, 8 Eastern and 9 local time on the Car Guy and Six Fan Show right here on my channel. Also guys, don't forget Old Car Auto Guy merch is available in the first link in the description box below. I hope you head over there and pick up your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirt. And as always, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll see you in the next video.